So this is for assignment number seven for CIS 61, uh, Intro to C++ Programming for Shasta College, Kate and Pollen's class, fall of 2021. And I'll look at the assignment really quick. This is called the Dice Game. For this assignment, you create a dice game. The program will have a player pitted against the computer both the player and the computer get to roll the dice six times each, and each user roll on the highest roll to overall dice total will win the game. The main purpose of the game is to use classes and objects. Okay, we did that. You must create a dice class, which you create two objects. Dice class to represent two dice in the game. In this dice class, you must store private data, base value of the dice. You must have member functions and rules, use the random number generator for the dice values, print the dice onto the screen, see out the dice. In the main function, create two dice objects and two functions to do the rolls, print function to print out the results, and to roll six times. Remember you must use add con box. Okay, this is what the output should look like down here. So far you are winning. Okay. So let's see what I did here. So let's run the game really quick that I wrote. And I put all this stuff on GitHub. This is for everybody and I'll show you where that's at here in a minute. Go to GitHub. So that's the first roll. Roll the seven. Computer turn. Do the computer roll to eight. Ooh, uh oh. Ooh, I rolled a ten. Let's see what happened this time. Seventeen. I wanted to thank uh, Isaiah Witten again because he's the one that really helped with this program. So make sure you acknowledge him in your comments in your computer programs. Isaiah Witten, he's the man, he's good. Thank you once again. And it's computer turn. Ooh, it's a tie game, let's see what happens. It's a computer roll, ooh, I got an eight. Ooh, ho, 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 Oh, it's a tie. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go through the code really quick, and then we'll play it one more time. That's freaking funny. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. So we go. Let's see what we did here. This is add your assignment number seven dice game for CIS 61. Make sure you acknowledge Isaiah Witten for really helping out with this program. It's pretty awesome. And here's your libraries you need. Input output stream. Input output in it. Whoops. Let me do that. So input output manipulation string. C time. C standard library using the namespace. Oops, let's go back up a little bit. This is where you create your classes here. So this is where you create a class called Dice, your Dice class. You got two members. Three public members functions. So that's your public members. There's private members are your total role and current role. Your public members are your int role and your int print role and your int check here. Okay, this is all in there. You have three public member functions here, which is down here. <laughs> this is our return for our functions here. It's the total of the dice. 
So he declared bullion first and declared to true as next game. Well, next game equals true. So dice, the player's dice, and a computer's dice. You're gonna play a game against the computer. Each of you will roll the dice six times. You ready? Yep. This is where we do a simple for loop. Encounter equals zero. Encounter is less than six. So this going up to seven. Counter plus plus, so you add one to the counter. If the counter is greater than zero. Player dice if checked is greater than computer dice check. Right now you're ahead. So if your dice roll is greater than the computer's dice roll, then you're ahead. Well, since the computer dice is less than or the player dice is less than the computer dice, the computer would be ahead. Do, 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 do. Let me print out the score here. See how it print out. Player dice. And let's see what else. And the computer. Here. Let's prints out the computer dice number. Add two lines here. <laughs> this is where we store our character for our key. Do, 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 do. Press any key and hit then hit enter to continue. Enter the key in from the user. Add a line. That's your role. Call your function here. Put the roll in. Oh, now it's the computer's turn. Press enter. Key. Enter the key. Add a line. Call the computer roll function. Now we do the computer roll. If it's greater than the computer roll. So if the player's roll is greater than the computer roll, then print out. Good job, you won. If the player's dice is less than the computer's dice, then check it. Too bad, the computer won. And you print out the final score. The, the, what the player rolled, and then the final score of what the computer rolled here. Let's print out, and then you add a line. So, now we set the valid entry for our second boolean here to false. Do a while loop. If the valid entry is false, then would you like to play another game? This does error checking. Ask the user if he wants to play another game. This is your choice. It's a yes or no answer here. <clears throat> if the choice equals yes, the next game is true, set the next game to true, valid entry is reset to true. Um, <laughs> and also, if the choice is no, set the next game to false, and move the valid entry to true. Else, there wasn't a valid entry, so that's if they enter something else other than Y or N. 
then you clear the screen. Return with your main function. So now we got our functions here. Our first function is int dice roll. It's your class. Function roll. What's your purpose? Contains random number between one and six. So this is where we use our time function. We do our seed. That's where we use our seed time here. Our seeded random variable here. Or int counter equals zero to int counter. It's less than two, so that's a one to two. So that's a coin toss. Get random number. Now we're getting a random number between one and six, where here's our random number for the current roll between one and six. Total roll equals current roll plus current roll. Now we do the print roll, which is the second function down here. Which is their next function? Which it dies. With current roll equals one. This is what the configuration would look like. And if it equals two, else if current roll equals two, and this is what it would look like down here. Else if our current roll equals three. This is what our current configuration would look like. Else if our current roll equals four. This is what our current configuration of our dice would look like. Else if it was five. This is what our current configuration of our dice would look like here. And lastly, if it's six, that's what it looks like. And we see out and return. And that should be everything. So let's save that really quick. And we'll run it one more time. Sure. So that's two. Ooh, they eleven. Uh oh. Do, 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 do. It's an eight. It's a four. That's an eight. That's a seven. That's a five. That's a two. That's a ten. That's a five. That's a seven. That's a five. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> yes, I won. There it is. To print this final score, I won. I've got a 40. No, we're not going to play another game. We're dead. We're good. We're out. Anyway, that's for computer programming assignment 7 for CIS 61 for Kate and Pollan's class for Shasta College Fall 2021. And. Thank you for watching. Once again, I want to thank Elias Witten for helping out with this one. Oh, also, before I go, let's go to GitHub really quick. I'll show you where this is, where I put all the assignments so you can have access to them all, too. So, if you go to GitHub, GitHub, do -do 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 -do. Type in L and N2. And then you know, pop up. This is me here. You click on it. And go. Okay, so this is all that. So, click on my repositories here. Do it, do it, do it. So these are all the 
repositories I have right here, which should be more than that. Oh, you know what? This is that's funny. Where is that? Click on repositories and so click repositories. This would be CIS 61. And you see that I have all of them here. So we got assignment seven here. We'll click on that. There's all the code right here. That's for assignment seven. But all they're all for all the assignments that are there. So if you go, like I said, to github.com lmccann two slash CIS sixty one, these are all the repositories. That they're just last assignment here is robot wars. And you can literally see copy it. Make sure you acknowledge Isaiah Witten for helping out with all the programs and stuff, but you can copy it here, so you can copy and paste. Anyway, that's that's where all every single program assignment for CIS 61 is located in the repository on GitHub. It's uh, on CIS 61 and under the Al McCann 2 folder. So once again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.